What's up guys, we're back again with review number two and today we have The Little Boy by MCV This is a clone and uh, before we talk about this Addy, I kinda just wanted to talk a little bit about clones in general and uh, not so much the, you know, the clone authentic debate I'm not all about that uh, I mean, whatever keeps you off cigarettes you know, more power to you. I got friends who, you know, buy and sell specifically authentic mods, addies, whatever only, and I have friends who buy only clones. And that's not my, you know, that's not my decision to make. You do whatever makes you happy. Um, <clears throat> but, I digress. So, what I wanted to say about clone addies is this. Uh, when buying clones, your best bet is to use a reputable clone maker. Hold on. Reputable. Now, I realize, guys, these are all Chinese-made, cranked out in factories by, I mean, I'm the hundred thousands. Uh, and they don't pay much attention to detail. Um, you know, companies like Infinite Tobacco, SKX, uh, EH Pro, damn, I just dripped juice on my chair. EH Pro somewhat. Uh, I haven't really been too thrilled with their stuff lately, but uh, they seem to do a little bit better job of, you know, actual one-to-one. -one. Uh, it's still not you know, authentic grade stuff. And my thing with clones versus authentics is clones, you're gonna end up, you know, melting that insulator a lot faster than you would with something authentic. Um, now, back to this Addy, and the reason I brought that up is this Addy, I am not sure what company made it. Uh, you know, I go out on a limb every now and then and buy a clone that I am not sure who makes it, and nine times out of ten, it's shit. Uh, and this, when it came in, scared me right out of the box. Um, <clears throat> it's supposed to come with an adapter for a, a, a regular drip tip. It does not, uh, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not that worried about it. Um, but re what really worried me is I pulled the cap off. Because I soak all of my Addies in Dawn dish soap and hot water for at least a good half an hour. Sorry, I had Skyline for lunch. It's not really agreeing with me. But, uh, yeah. Do a hot bath in Dawn dish soap for a half hour. Then try to, uh, you know, get in the nooks and crannies as best as I can with a paper towel. Uh, when I pulled the cap off of this, there was obvious oil left in the inside of the top cap. Uh, so much so that I wiped my finger through there, my finger came out black. And I was like, holy shit. I hope I don't have to, uh, you know, sand the whole inside of this top cap just to be able to use it. So I threw it in the water with the soap, pulled it out, went around with a paper towel, and it all came off. So I'm assuming it's, you know, oil of some type, probably machine oil. Um, and this did have a very, very strong machine oil taste to it for my first three wicks uh, and that's after a, a decent cleaning um, I recommend you guys clean all these addies before you use them you obviously don't want to be inhaling machine oil uh, that's not good I mean it ain't gonna kill you instantly but it's, it's it's just not good for you so I recommend you clean all these things before you use them um, but let's talk about this addy so Got the uh, specs pulled up here. Um, let's see. Whoop! Don't want to go there. Um, I bought this coin off eBay. I paid, I believe. Let me let me just pull it up. Um, I paid twenty three dollars and fifty six cents shipped. Um, their description of it. Uh, Exact one-to-one -one clone, 22 millimeter RDA, food grade stainless steel, uh, Delrin, Delrin wide bore drip tip, which is this. 
Uh, Delrin adapter for standard 510 drip tip, which I did not receive. Uh, three post uh, build. Um, two millimeter post holes. They're, they're pretty substantial. Uh, adjustable airflow, which is also very, very substantial. And beautiful engravings, very deep. And yes, they are. That was my main reason for picking this one up, is the engravings on it are crisp, they are clean, and they are deep. Um, I need a vape. Still vaping on this boosted, guys. Great shit. Anyway, so, I have this thing at least a quarter of the way closed off because wide open, this thing is airy. Which is great for Big Cloud, but you're losing a lot of flavor with this drip tip setup this RDA in general and how wide and just the length of these Cyclops airflow holes I mean this is a tall RDA uh, compared to uh, the Hobo which I'm going to be reviewing next this thing is just you know towering over the Hobo uh, but I do like it uh, I was a little iffy on it at first because the build deck it's a little weird, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pull my cotton out, pause this video, rewick, so you can see the deck and everything, see the build I got on there. But uh, so I built it kind of how I build my tugboats. Um, you can see there's like a little channel cut out where your coil is supposed to go. Well, I built on top of that. Uh, I just I hate 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 having to push my coils down into a deck. So basically what I did was I built those coils and I just kind of pushed the cotton back so the airflow is still coming up past those coils and up into my drip tip. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a decent vape, guys. Now my first build I put on it, I tried to get my coils right in front of those, uh, those channels and I was pissed. They just weren't firing right. My coils looked like shit. Um, I just didn't have high hopes for this Addy at first. But the more and more I build on it, and the more and more I vape on it, the more and more I like it. So, I'm going to pull these wicks out real quick. I'm going to pause this video, and I will be right back. Alright guys, and we are back. And this is the deck still smoking from me dry burning these coils on the little boy um, as you can see nice and deep on the sides the posts are milled in well the negative posts are milled into the deck uh, the insulator on this thing is not bad uh, that's the thing that worries me the most about buying a clone from a clone company I am not familiar with is usually the insulator is the first thing to go and this one's been holding up pretty well. I got a uh, .3 build here at 80 watts, and it has not shown any signs of melting whatsoever, which I'm pretty happy about that. So, I don't know if you guys can see it a little better now. This little channel I was talking about, that's my, my big hang-up with this thing, is to get the most out of it, you need to build right in front of that channel, and I don't like being restricted by sidewalls and what have you. I just don't like that. You know, sometimes I like to build center coils, sometimes I like to just build my coils, you know, like this, kind of off to each side. So, like I said, I built it up above the deck, and it seems to be performing pretty well. Um, <clears throat> I am going to pause this video again, re-wick, and take a few more vapes off of it. Alright guys, so we're back with the little boy, and I thought this might be pertinent, my wicking, uh, if you guys are deciding to buy this Addy and build it and wick it how I do. Now, I am a big, big, big stuffer of cotton. I cram as much of that shit in there as I can, and I like having it, you know, stuffed up under my coil because I feel like 
I'm getting a lot more juice from the bottom. Pretty much I feel like I'm getting more juice to coil contact than I would be if I was just leaving, you know, a U wick with that air going under it. Which, if you have an Addy that doesn't have the best airflow, the U wick, you know, just through the coil and down would be the way to go. <coughs> Sorry. But being that this Addy has a lot of airflow, I'm going to stuff it up under there. And what I have is this little uh, screwdriver. You can see this thing has been, you know, seen better days. Uh, but I just take it and I stuff all that cotton back as close to the post as I can. Take the other side. I realize you guys may not be able to see this, you know, very well being as I'm shooting this on my phone, but I figured it's worth a shot. Hopefully here soon I'll be able to, you know, get a new computer or a new phone or a new camera or something, nice fancy camera. So I don't know how well you guys can tell, but basically I have my coil away from the air where my airflow will be going which is going to be through here and up obviously so I tried to push all that cotton back under that coil as close as I could kind of leave a little open space in my well right here for me to drip and I'm just going to do that to the other side now I know there's a lot of people out there who say you know stuffing cotton under your your coils does not give you a great vape you know having tight cotton doesn't give you a great vape but when you're vaping at high heat high wattage you know having tight cotton and you know a, a lot of cotton in there helps you know especially when you're taking these big old rips and you want more than two three pulls per drip this is the way to go I mean I typically on a build where I stuff and make my cotton real tight I'll get anywhere from five to eight decent pulls off my RDA which isn't bad at all I'm gonna juice this thing back up real quick some anti-lag again guys I got a 24 gauge Nichrome 80 in here, which I should probably do a video comparing Nichrome to Canthal here soon because I know there's a lot of questions about that as well. Uh, but that's besides the point. Got 24 gauge Canthal, 24 gauge Nichrome 80 in here. Uh, I think I got 10 wraps. It's oming out at 0.3. Um, fire, get some of that cotton soaking up some of that juice oh by the way picked up this sweet J wrap I uh, I love camo everything and this uh, for those of you who have the IPV and for those of you who don't the paint job on these things are absolutely terrible 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 mine had so many scuffs scratches it just I've had this thing for like I don't know, I don't even think a month, and it looks like I've had it for about three years. It was just beat to hell and back. So I got this nice J-Wrap skin, fits perfectly, and uh, it makes me like this IPV even more. And I feel like this, uh, you know, this little boy, little little guy with the gas mask kind of belongs on here now. Looks good. Uh, the skin feels good. It's nice and smooth. But yeah, let's go back to uh, the little boy. Let's vape it. Again, this is a uh, point three at eighty watts. And I got my airflow holes pretty much halfway closed. I didn't buy this boost and chase cloud with guys. I bought it for the fucking flavor. Pardon my language. So yeah guys, the little boy, um, would I recommend it to some people? Uh, it's not a very cut and dry RDA, um, 
the airflow is, dare I say, a little much, especially with this chuff cap. Uh, I understand, you know, the whole airflow race with all the, with the Doge and the Mutation X and all that shit coming out. People are looking for airflow, but, you know, it's not always about the airflow, guys. Uh, I mean, I like airflow. I like a lot of airflow. I like being able to blow big clouds, but I also like the option of being able to adjust that airflow, which this does. Uh, but, like I said, it's a very middle-of-the-road Addy. Um, it looks good. I'll give it that. Looks on it are great. And I forgot to show you guys this. The top, I don't know if you can, you can't really see it, but the top there, it's got nice little engravings on the top cap. It says, uh, Masterpiece Custom Vapes MCV. Uh, yeah. That's about all I can say about the, uh, the little boy. Um, maybe pick it up, maybe not. <sighs> can't really give you a definitive answer. It's good, but it's not great. So, that's all I got for the, uh, little boy, guys. Later.